off in the Dixiana Elkhorn. There goes Tis a Slam from the outside, and here's Laytone from the inside, and now Final Copy moving up from the extreme outside. Final Copy moves forward, puts a head in front. Laytone right there against the rail, though. Then a break of four lengths back to Tis a Slam, who settles into third. Solio is going to save ground to the inside in fourth. Bigger picture alongside that one in fifth. Gap of two to Kinesar, who's in sixth. Zulu Alpha seventh. Red Knight is eighth. Vittori Ken is ninth, and Hunter O'Reilly last of the ten, moving into the stretch for the first time with Final Copy, the leader. Final copy leads it by three lengths. Laytone is second, 24.45 seconds for the opening quarter. Gap of three more lengths back to Tiza Slam in third. Soleo back toward the inside in fourth. Gap of five more back to Bigger Picture. Kenesar, Zulu Alpha, and then Red Knight, Vittori Ken, Hunter O'Reilly at the back. It was 50.31 seconds for the first half mile. A lap to go on the Dixiana Elkhorn and final copy the leader for Brian Hernandez Jr. But Laytone moves forward a closer second length and a half separate the top two. Tiza Slam goes third. Solio continues to save ground back to the rail in fourth. Zulu Alpha, a lane off the rail in fifth. Bigger Picture is sixth. And then Red Knight toward the outside in seventh, who's still running some nine lengths off the lead. Canessar, Vittori Ken, and a break of nearly four more back to Hunter O'Reilly. Final copy leads the field up the back stretch in front by a length. Laytone keeps inching forward in second a length and a half. And then tis a slam. Solio has been there toward the inside since the start and is fourth, three and a half lengths off the leader. Bigger picture looks for some running room between horses in fifth. Then Zulu Alpha in sixth. Red Knight far outside in seventh. Kenesar, Vittori Ken, and Hunter O'Reilly as they go to the far turn. And final copy still the leader. Final copy, a length and a half to the good. Tis a slam far outside. Laytone third between horses. Zulu Alpha looks toward the center of the course, being asked to go now, and is joined by Red Knight. Bigger picture in behind horses. Solio has lost ground around the far turn. Zulu Alpha and Red Knight swing to the outside with bigger picture. Bearing down and moving by, Tis a slam back toward the inside. Red Knight has a narrow lead in the final furlong. Zulu Alpha, and then... Final copy has backed up toward the rail, has dropped back, as here comes Bigger Picture running on. Tis a slam still fighting. Can Bigger Picture get there to catch Red Knight? Bigger Picture striding forward. Bigger Picture, Tyler Gaffalione rally through the stretch to win the Dixiana Elkhorn. In the winner's circle for Keeneland's featured ninth race, 34th running of the Dixiana Elkhorn, grade two, seven bigger picture. Owned by Three Diamonds Farm of Kirk Wyckoff and trained by Mike Maker, two wins today for Tyler Gaffalione. Bigger picture, an eight-year-old gelded son of Badge of Silver, out of Glory Dancer by Honor and Glory, bred in Kentucky by Kenneth and Sarah Ramsey. In the winner's circle, Bill and Donna Shively make the Dixiana Elkhorn Trophy presentation to the connections of Bigger Picture. Bigger Picture takes the Dixiana Elkhorn going a mile and a half on the grass, and, and by the looks of it, you, you got a lot of the grass on you, Tyler. How difficult of a trip was it for you? It was actually fairly easy. Uh, the horse broke good. He put himself in a nice position. Uh, we saved ground around both turns. Uh, just follow Jose when he made his move, and he grinded it out. All the credit goes to Mike and his team. They do a fabulous job. You're doing so well right now, Akeen, and it seems like, especially on the grass, what, what is clicking for you right now? Uh, just good opportunities, get to ride nice horses for good connections, uh, and my agent does a great job, so I'm just very thankful. Well, congratulations. Tyler Gaffleone with a stakes win here today. Mike, this is your game. You're so good at finding these horses and keeping these old-class horses rolling against the top-level company. What stood out to you about this, this effort today from Bigger Picture? Well, the horse is really, I mean, he was, you know, beautiful horse. His hair coat and everything is... You know, I think he was compromised last time by a slow pace and maybe just hates Gulfstream and I won't listen to him. But after a few years of him telling me no more Gulfstream, I, I think I'll finally listen to him. Can we get him back here in the fall? Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you.